So this is a one gig switch. I have more hardware to show off a little later tonight. Let's get started with this unboxing. I'll go ahead and power it up also and uh, we'll get an idea of the watt burn. Here we go. Power cord, <laughs> not the most exciting part, but it's got a right angle. So that's, right, that's that. We've got a 1U bracket mounting kit. Heavy, beefy metal, usual Cisco fashion. Some of your Cisco fans will feel familiar to. This is really a consumer -y or small business edition that's priced under $200. Whereas the D Link, uh, sorry, yeah, the D Link switch I bought in the past, you can get those for under $100 at 24 points actually. But, and they are a little smaller and they're certainly lighter. Managed switches with 24 ports, big a bit, that gets a little, gets a lot more pricey. All right, there it is. Let's get a close look at the ports, the labels, and the layout. As we get to the right, you will notice SFPs. And the two lines are at least signify, I think the last two ports there are shared. I believe I read. Okay, how about around back? And power. All right. Let's have a look at the watts. Okay, we're using five watts. Okay, I've got things set up with a better camera angle for you. I'm gonna try some patch cables here. Uh, the machine on the left is gonna boot to a bias screen. There's no OS on there right now. So, Cat7 patch cord. Uh, nice and short in sealed baggies. And I'm gonna go ahead and wire up five cables now for you. As is the case, when any server PC finishes booting up, it tends to get quieter. Port number one is at the top left corner, so I'll go with that for management. And we have green lights. Two green lights indicating gigabit. Okay, that's it. The two ports on the right are actually 10 gig, but of course I'm negotiating one gig because this is a one gig switch. So we're right around five or six watts uh, with this many switch ports in use. The only thing I didn't finish showing you was the rack mount parts. So some folks might be interested in exactly what's included in the bag. I think I should take a moment to show you that. Okay, there's the metal bracket. Two of them, of course. And here's the screw kit. In case you're wondering exactly what comes in the package, there's some nylon washers on there. And a part number for that bag. And finally, some rubber feet.
I've got other rubber feet in the house, so I can handle that. So hopefully you found this quick look at this Cisco switch helpful. And of course, when I went to put away the metal bracket, I found the foot adhering to the inside of this bag. So, no Cisco, didn't forget the foot. Feels quite gummy and sticky. Now we are done. Again, thank you for watching and for visiting tinkertry.com.